Hey everybody, welcome back to West of Loathing. We're back in dirt water for reasons that I will disclose later. Hello again, thank you for telling me about this place. The locals have been very welcoming. Glad to hear it. Oh, I never really thank you properly for saving my life, so thank you. Although I still don't really explain what happened. I don't think I can explain it if I tried. And you're welcome. Interested in your book? Well, take a look, it's in a book. A Reading Rainbow. Hmm. I already have most of these, but I'm pretty sure I can get more s experience with one of these, so let's go for it. Speaking of experience... Oof. And I think at that point... Might as well just switch back to uh, auto. Sleep! You go to sleep. You have dreams that you're having lunch with your mother while fleeing from a blueberry pie. And you go out drinking with a famous actress. You wake up screaming. Well, okay then. <sighs> Drink. You're no cow scientist, but you're pretty sure this would kill you if you drank it. Come to think of it. You're pretty sure there's not even such a thing as a cow scientist. Better not, then. How about a roasted cow tongue? This tongue is extremely gross, and this tongue came from a little demonic cow. Do you want, really want to eat it? Oh, I changed my mind, actually. Maybe I can get something better out of this. How about some tainted meat? I must become corrupted. Tainted beef steak. Nom, 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 nom. You feel a pain in your stomach. Oof. feel an evil presence burning within you. You moo. You've been cow-tainted. 
Curdled bovine energy flows through every nook and cranny. Uh oh. Feel the burn. Ponder what to make out of infernal leather. An idea suddenly burns in your mind. A hammer. Yes. A hammer. Yes. Yes. Hellstrom Ranch. Scatter the cow's bane. Something tells you ringing this idea with your infernal mountain would be a very bad idea, but something else tells you it would be a very good idea. Ring with the mallet. Who dares summon Duke Bocarius, and why can't Duke Bavavicus move. Not cool. Not cool at all. What are you? I am Duke Burgess. What are you? I am Blues Barkley. Duke Bavavicus hates you, Blues Barkley. Release me. Mm, no. He's getting very angry. He does some more flailing, this time even less dignified than before. Leave him to it. Now then. I guess I have to do the whole thing. Although maybe this will work, I don't know. Stretch Master. Lung flex, lung flex, stretch master, agitator, agitator, agitator. You strap yourself into the stretch machine for a nice relaxing cool down. Wow, you feel great. Unfortunately, you're already in peak physical form, so I'm not actually sure why you went through all that again. You feel the corruption leave you. My humanity is restored. Go to bed again. It's ridiculous. It's not even funny. Let's see. Hmm. Jar moonshine. Gulp, 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 gulp. Do, 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 do
You uncorked a lot of them and spilled most of it on the ground before drinking the remainder. It's just as well, the whole bottle definitely would have killed you. Oh. Good, then. Alright, that'll do, I suppose. Anger ourselves a little bit. And we should be good. To do what, I'm not entirely certain. I guess we'll go talk to the Barnaby Bob. See what I can get out of him, if anything. Check out the tanner you mentioned. But did you know? What did you discover? A bunch of animated cow hides. Plus a whole cow skeleton with a sort of leather draped over it. You were animated to the leather. That's interesting, though not wholly unexpected. There's more to it. Well, there was a leather that wasn't possessed, and if we'd know if they could animate any old leather because of old people's hats, and uh, I think it's just tan if it's just untanned hides. Well, that is from information worth knowing. How nice it is when an arrangement works out to be mutual beneficial. There's more that came down. You can tell me more about this tanning process. There's a plant called cow cow's bane. They use it in tanning leather. Apparently the cows hate it and attack anyone growing it. Fascinating. This is valuable information indeed. And that's all for now. Because I got rid of it. Frankly, your continued existence is an affront to me, and I want you gone. Say goodbye, Bob. Oh, I have to wait till the next day, do I? God damn it. I'm thinking this is going to be the last video, because I can't think of anything else to do. Man. Trusted source. <sighs> ah, the perfect cup of coffee. Why not? You take a deep breath in and drink the coffee. It is immaculate, unparalleled. Every cup of coffee you drink from now on will be worse than this. Now then.
Wow, the skeleton pretty, did a, sure did a number on this place. There's pretty much nothing left. The safe is uh, as a crater to the ground as if thrown from a far distance. Guess the skeletons weren't explosive with them. The dial looks pretty complex in his weird squiggles instead of numbers. Fortunately, the impact knocked it wide open, so it doesn't really matter. It contains a few scorched and blackened fragments of what you're pretty sure might be an eggshell, and a nice pair of boots that seem undamaged. Barney Bob, these must be Barney Bob's spare boots. Wonder why he kept them in his office safe. Never trust a person like me. You're a fool to even think of doing so. And I guess that's it. Unless something comes up from when we're here. I've earned this state. Looks like someone on the train got a job as a protectionist. Would you like to watch the movie? It's free because movies have only recently been invented and nobody's figured out that they can charge for them yet. No, doing this will not change anything about the world or your character. When the cutscene is over, you'll still be right here and can keep playing if you want. Show me that final cutscene. Some folks say endings don't matter. But other folks, they like to know how things turned out. The consequences of their actions, like. With the trains running again, Frisco thrived. 
People came from all over to seek their fortunes. But thanks to you, they didn't have to do it while on fire because some cows attacked their wagon. With his wacky turn-up crown, Emperor Norton served as an example of profound and abiding weirdness in the sins of Frisco, and became a, a makeup for comedians and comedy writers and comedians who play musical entrance as part of their comedy. I, I completely forgot to finish the band. Oh, well. After you settled in, Gary climbed to the top of the tallest building in Frisco and shot spores every which way. They say his descendants still roam the west to this day. After she finished getting the bakery boys up and running, Louise moved to Frisco and opened her own shop specializing in artisan breads and pies. Unfortunately, after some unknown vandal kept breaking in at night and destroying all the pies, she had to switch to Braid's only business model. Kurtz left the fort and set up shop in Frisco. His cult, uh, fitness group skyrocketed in popularity. The growth was entirely due to word of mouth, because the first rule of Kurtz Fit is that you cannot stop talking about Kurtz Fit. The cultist you erected eventually joined a different cult, but the new one is a quite a bit safer than the old one, since it's mostly about annoying people on the streets instead of unearthing ancient evil dest destructors. The musicians he sent to Dirtwater formed a little band called the Pony Express. The rig was a little too esoteric for most people's taste, but their fans claimed they were just ahead of their time. I missed one person. Buffalo 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 Bill retired from the killing trade and made a killing opening up a restaurant in, restaurant in Frisco. Buffalo 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 Wild 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 Wings. Mm-mm, good. He solved our Berlin's problems. With the increase in morale and civic resources, they were able to clear the weeds from the road, fix the well, and the broken hitching post. There was even a left left over to give the mayor's office a new coat of paint, refresh the facade of, on the butt biscuit, and add a second story to the bunkhouse. They also managed to get their horse into rehab. Olive Garden and Cactus Bill lived happily ever after. A wandering band of goblins found that Alberto weather machine you unearthed and formed a cult around it. Due to the increasing rainfall, both Olive's garden and her marriage were extremely pro prolific. Chuck continued to run his blood and breakfast without any incidents, accidents, scandals, or allegations for many years. You want four of the reenactment scenarios and four mem memorandum. They still talk about you. Remember when that blues gal came through here? Yeah, she was really good at this game. Do we have any more root beer? With your help, Roy Bean's Jelly Bean Museum became the talk of the town. Well, first they had to build a town nearby, but once they did, whoo -wee! Their water became, rel became, relatively speaking, a thriving metropolis thanks to your efforts as a commerce emissary and all-around helpful stranger. The once sleepy town became a shining oasis in a barren land. Every man, woman, and child in the town knew your name. They even put up a little plaque with your name on it in your old room at the Jewel. Throwing them all back. 
and noisily too. As for you, after your adventure, you settled in Frisco and bought a very long and very narrow house. You filled it with souvenirs of your exploits and started a unique and antique hat rack collection. When you left home, you told Rufus you wanted to help people. Over the course of your adventure, you helped 77 people. You weren't whistling dissy when you declared your intentions. If you had been Catholic, they definitely would have sent you if you had asked. But you wouldn't have asked because you wouldn't want to be any trouble. Look at all the hats I missed. In 1906, all the remaining cows of the West were simultaneously activated by some kind of signal from hell. They thundered east, forming a single, gigantic single-minded herd. Fortunately, since you managed to somehow trap Duke Povicus on this side of the ground and cleansed yourself of the bovine blood taint, the army of cows had nobody to lead them. They thundered east in a, cha uh, in a chaotic mass. The disorganized herd never even made it to a human settlement. Thanks to your cleverness, the world is not destroyed 420 years later. On the contrary, it remains fully undestroyed for millennia. Future generations don't know that they should thank you, but they should. Thanks for playing. Okay. How much time do I have left? Not a lot. But I really want to get that, uh... I might do that at some point. Alright, off we go. Although we want to get our normal gear back.
don't know why I was wearing that. It really doesn't seem very useful. Danger, kitchen. I think I ever went back here. Porsche chained to the wall, his eyes widen as you approach. Hey, you're not with him. Are you here to rescue me? Sure. Oh, thank goodness. He thrusts his hand towards the ears and shakes vigorously. Doug. I'm Doug. Blues, how you doing, Doug? Well, I've been trained in this dank wolf cave for weeks and cooking for those striped tapped idiots. That sounds awful. One of the worst part, there's a perfectly good oven eight feet to my right and a shelf perfectly uh, perfect good in greens eight feet to my left. Uh, that's, the that's the worst part. This chain's only four feet long. Ah, that's rough. I know, right? There I was, fresh out of culinary school with a million meat idea in my head, and now here I am, four feet shy of my dreams, cooking the same pot of soup over and over. What million meat idea? You, uh, promise not to steal my idea, right? Yeah, I promise. Okay, then, it's a new kind of sandwich, or maybe a taco. It's so revolutionary that I am not sure where it fits in the whole hand food taxonomy, to be honest. Anyway, in the middle there's a sausage, but sausage is made from the cheapest part of the pig, ground up so finely you can't identify the pig. Okay. And it's served in a long split roll that, which soaks up the grease so you can't tell how fatty the sausage is. Uh, the best part? The name. You ready to hear the name? Sure. We call it the hot dog. What do you think? Sounds great. I mean, thanks. Not that it matters anymore, even though I did get this chain off, there's no point hanging around in this empty cave making hot dogs just for myself. I don't even like the taste of them. You can shut up, so shut up, set up shop in derp water. Brilliant, you're a genius, Blues. Hot dogs for sale every day, every day. I'll make a mint. See, there's an idea. What if I add mint to the sausage mixture? You help him break his chains. He leaves the cave hauling the oven and the shelf full of ingredients, muttering to himself about new sausage recipes. Well, that's that, then. Ah! Eh, all out of batteries. Doesn't matter. Yeah, what's this? It's a kind of musical instrument. You bite the narrow part and then, well, basically just keep doing what you're doing. She gives a few experimental twangs and boings and knocks out a sweet riff. Wow, this thing's like a revolution, thanks. I feel like maybe I should take the show on the road. Maybe try the Jewel Saloon in Dirtwater? Sounds good to me, thanks again. She leaves, plunking that twanger the whole way. Nice. 
Oh. The key-shaped elevator device hums as you approach. The floating window appears through. You see nothing but rocks in every direction. Every direction except slightly down to the left when you see two menacing, hairy-looking men fighting. Wait, they're not fighting. They're taking turns bonking each other on the, on the head with clubs, but they're smiling and giggling. Through the window, you can barely reach the shoes of the ones on the left. Grab. Grab the shoes, which makes them giggle even louder. As soon as the shoes pass through the window, it snaps to static. Ugh. Okay, so I guess I'm missing some stuff, but... I feel like I've got what matters. Hmm. So yeah, I guess we'll just call it here. I in the Blues 32, this is, uh... It's been, uh... A second run through of, um... West of Loathing, TTFN, ta-ta for now.